Howdy folks, this is Checkers, back again with another episode of our Fallout New Vegas Let's Play, this time with episode 4, where we've been making new friends and generally getting to know the populace here in Good Springs. Steel fixing things. And... Ooh! Open door to Good Springs. All right, well, let's get into character here and take a look around. Wonder what this here computing machine has to offer. Uh-oh, we done got a bit of bad music there. Let's see if I can crack this in. Two of seven. One... No, there's one match, but not two. One. No, I see one match, but not two. This one's possible. There we go. A little bit of experience. Welcome user disengage lock. Oh, we don't want to steal from Trudy. We just wanted to, you know, take a look at her computer. See maybe if she had some fun games on there. Well, it do seem to be about nighttime. Let's explore a bit of Good Springs here. See what what we got here. Apparently nothing in the Mojave Express drop box there. Nothing in the barrels. There's a dedicated farmer for you. Just kind of doing his thing. Leather belt. Value 5. Sure, why not. Alright. And... I suppose we could go and take a nap, as I do believe. Coffee mugs worth one, we'll just leave that. There is a possibility of taking a nap in here. What do we have here? Meeting people. Let's see what meeting people does for us. Plus ten speech. I'm still a little bit unclear as to how long the magazines last for, but coffee mug, that's one, iron is two, so three caps I think we can do without, but if we wanted to sleep, it's 2 a.m. Oh, I think we can put six hours behind us. then and I think we check this mailbox on our way up to the bone orchard but there's a Nuka Cola truck Patriots cookbook probably another magazine all right what's making that noise or is that just ambient Okay. All right. Not sure what that was. Keep out. Somehow I have a feeling that's probably good advice. I wonder if we can see why. Keep out. something down there but well you know never was too good at following the directions of signs let's get up here on the high ground though
see what we can see. I think Trudy mentioned there was a fella that those powder gangers were chasing back in the town. We should probably... Okay, well, there's our second warning. Let's see what we're getting warned about. Oh. Oh my. You need to be careful. It's dangerous out here. I'll try to remember that. See that you do. Uh, are you following me? I saved your life, so I kind of feel responsible for you is all. Oh, well, that's right kind of you. Well, happy trails then. Yep, I suppose. Okay, well, you know what? Um, they went through all that trouble to warn me. I think we are going to get out of Dodge fast like little, little bunny rabbit little three-headed irradiated bunny rabbit with a turbo boost on his bottom and just get ourselves clean away from whatever on this slightly green earth that was okay well we got star warnings and we'll we'll heat them Whew. I get the feeling that would have been real, real unpretty. The kind of unpretty that would make a vulture kind of squeamish. Whew. Okay. Well, now we're back into town here. What do we got here? As I recall, sometimes you can find things in the cars. But, you know, I am a little fuzzy after the whole shot to the head thing. Let's see here. Three sunset sarsaparillas. Well. Door to Good Springs gas station. That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? Um, well... I'm John, Ringo. I think we could form a band. I'm not an enemy, if that's what you're asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? Are you propositioning me, man? Um, what are the rules of caravan? It's a two-player game, and the winner takes the whole pie. You build a caravan using the cards in your deck. The goal is to create caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids, so there's more strategy than luck involved. It's why you won't see caravan in any casino. Too slow-paced. And more importantly, no house edge. Here, take this holotape. It goes into more specifics about the rules. You'll also need a deck, so take one of my spares. So, you feel like playing a game? Well, you know what? That's probably the nicest way anyone's ever not pointed their gun at me anymore. So sure, let's uh, give it don't a whirl. Don't worry. I'm not that good of a player. Oh, don't worry yourself either. I'm sure I'm not either after uh, all this time and this here, you know, rewiring in my noggin. Um, auto match sounds fine. Oh my heavens, what did I do? He put down 53, I put down 53, there's money on the table. Okay, sure, accept. I have no idea how this works. Just not coming back to me. Um, can we just make it go? <laughs> oh, sure, just randomize. There we go. Play. Say goodbye to her money, I suppose. Three. I have no concept of what the rules are anymore. Um. 
Select card. Okay. There we go. Now, how do we... Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to, like, match him or top him. I should have looked at the thing, but... I thought, honestly, I'd remember more, but... Apparently that their bullet passed right through the place where I remembered how to play caravan. So sorry if I'm driving y'all nuts, but there we go. All right. Seventeen. I'm gonna guess that these are worth 10. Um, how do I, there. So I'll just match him. Not sure if I did a good thing or a bad thing right there. 25. Let's see, we matched. And the cards went away. I really have no idea. We're just gonna go here. 25. We're not getting 25 out of anything anymore. Um. Well, no. No, we're not getting 25. Well, let's select a card. Apparently that's not a good place for it, neither is that. There. Wow, I have no idea what we're doing. Alright then. No, that's not what I wanted. Um... Okay, let's, no, that's, cancel, there we go, no, okay, we can't do that, no, let's uh, cancel, here we go, we can do this though, we can do it on any track there, Let me go back to think. Okay. And now um hmm. Sure, what's this do? Okay, it has to be ascending, all right. No, okay. 36 seems to be bad. I'm not entirely sure how... Oh, he must have put that there. No, that's not going to work. No, 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 no. I think we want... No, apparently don't want that either. What about, no, no, okay. 
Oh, wait. Well, heavens, I think if I were me, I would just fast forward through this, if it were an option. Um, cancel, let's see here. Uh, seven ain't going nowhere if the rest of them weren't. Okay, we'll just try and get rid of it too. Fortunately, we got another one. Um, how do we do this? Do the thing there. Well, apparently we can't do that either. Ah. <sighs> yeah, you know what? We lose. Now we just kill them and take our money back. No, we won't do that. But we're going to take your Sunset Sarsaparilla. Sorry, folks, but my memory just ain't what she used to be. Bullet hole notwithstanding. What do we got in here? Doctor's bag. Oh, yeah, we'll grab that. Yeast. I think, you know what? I can live without yeast for right now. Boxing times, we'll take that. Open sack, sure. Ooh, new Coca Cola, we'll grab that. And what else you got behind the register here? 22 bottle caps, well, guess we got some back. Stealing rounds? These are yours? Oh, we can't lockpick. All right, well, you there. What is it? So a man named Joe Cobb was looking for you, but, uh, well, I done killed him. Uh, thanks, I guess. Cobb wasn't the problem, though. I could have handled him if he ever found me. Cobb's friends are the bigger problem. And when he doesn't get back, they'll be coming here for blood. There's no way I can fight them all. Why are the powder gangers out to get you? My caravan was on the return trip from California and heading back to the company branch in New Vegas when we got jumped. Not even a drop your weapons and hands up before the bullets started flying. We put up a good fight, but there was too many of them. I took a few of the bandits down before I ran, so I figure their friends are out for revenge. So what you gonna do about them powder gangers? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Maybe I can help. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... Well, I'll ask around town, see who I can round up. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. All right, well... We'll go see how Sonny feels about blasting some powder gangers. I think this is Doc's hut right here. And... I'll try and... Okay. What on earth? This? Where was Vats? keeps wanting me to use vats. I'm not even sure what how on earth to use vats to be honest with you. All right, let's take a look. Um controls, mapping, vats. Pad what? I've been hitting that. All right, well, you know, I hate doing that, guys, and I'm sorry, but... Hey, you know what? Maybe we can use it on that farmer over there. Just to get the thing to stop bothering us. Yeah, great. That's your vats. Now, leave us alone. Mmm... 
Except I don't want to shoot either one of them. <sighs> All right. Hopefully Vats will start leaving us alone now. Put our shooting iron away and go talk to Sonny. I don't think Joe Cobb knew what hit him. I'm hoping you took him down for a good reason and not for fun. Well, he was threatening Trudy. I'm going to help Ringo take on the Powder Gangers, and I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. I like you, Sonny. You make me smile. We might die horribly. Well, that was easy. Even though Joe Cobb's dead, his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Okay. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Okay, any ideas on how to convince Trudy? A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. How about Chet? I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. And Easy Pete? Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. Hmm. All right, well... Let's see what I can do. I'll be waiting. Who are you? You're just a set on. Hey there, Trudy. I'm gonna awkwardly walk around your bar until I find so out how to talk to you. So you plan on taking on Joe Cobb's gang? It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Well, I can't just let him come in here and kill you. Um. Sneak 25. I wonder if we have that. That does sound like a good plan. All right, you seem to know what you're doing, so you can count me in. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. All While right. everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. A general store probably has what we need in stock. Okay, well, we convinced Trudy by telling her that we had a good ambush Be careful plan. out there. Sorry, I didn't read the line. I uh, was a bit bemused by sneaking. Easy Pete. Now, I don't think I know anything about explosives. Skills, explosives, 22. Assume he wants 25. Did I pick up an aid book that would help us? I think. What was it called? Patriot's Cookbook. Explosives plus 10. Let's use that. Howdy. Howdy, Pete. Here you've got dynamite. It sure would help us beat them powder gangers. Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. I'm familiar with the care and handling of explosives. Dynamite included. Uh-huh. Guess you know what you're doing. I'll go dig it up and get it ready. You'll have it by the time the fighting starts. Thanks, Pete. That's right kind of you. Yep. All right, now, let's see. We've still got Chet and Doc Mitchell. So, here's Chet. You there. You looking to buy some supplies? Funny story. I'm trying to keep you from getting killed. I need some supplies to fight the Powder Gangers, though, to do that. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Hmm. Well... Right. Let me see if I've Daily. got another magazine that might help me with bartering. Um, let's see here. Vox and Times, we could beat some sense into him. Lad's life is survival. Meeting people is speech. But not barter. Hmm. Anything that would do us some bartering. A 
Now, maybe I just need... Wait, what was that magazine I didn't steal in the, in the uh, bar here? Maybe I just need to do a little bit of creative acquiring. Acquisition, as they Howdy. say. Fixing things. No, no, that's not it. Maybe, maybe there's something closer to Chet here. Maybe Chet sells something that would actually help us. Let's try that. You looking to buy some supplies? Yeah, what you got for sale? And uh, let's look under your aid. Salesman Weekly. Barter plus 10. Oh, no, actually, don't do that. We'll just Give me buy a shout that from if you. Need you. Anything else. Um, sure. You know what? I need to take just take a moment here and peruse this year magazine. Salesman Weekly. You looking to buy some supplies? I need them supplies to fight the Powder Gangers still. This again? Like I said, I'm against taking on the Powder Gangers. My supplies aren't cheap, you know. Well, you know, you'll have a lot more caps to spend if I don't put a hole through your head first. You know, if we do let them take over the town, I'm sure your business will be much better off. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And, uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. Yeah, I will understand. Especially take in the future. When I come back and take everything you own. Alright, anyway, let's see. Let's go talk with the doc. See if we can't make sure that we all survive this one way or t'other. Doc? Oh. Okay. Doc! You're Welcome gonna love back. this. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Well, you know, kind of consider this as more of a preventative medicine thing. The town is going to be attacked by bandits. Is there anything you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Yeah, it's oh, true. I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. Well, thanks, Doc. I really appreciate it. Take care now. You take care now. I will do my best, and then we will head on out here. And let's see what happens next. Data. Ghost Town Gunfight. Return to Ringo and let him know that Sonny has agreed. Well, you know what? We are at the edge of our expedition for the day, so we will head on up to where Ringo is hanging out practicing. And... Uh, if I can, I'll try and remember to look at how the whole caravan thing works. I used to know, boy, that, that there bullet hole really did leave a mark. Alrighty, for the moment, though, I would like to say thank you for watching. I hope you found the video entertaining and maybe just a little informative. I would like to invite you to subscribe, like, and share if you so desire, and to ask you, above all, to please take care.